What's up beautiful people, today we're going to be checking out the Namibian president's speech at the 15th BRICS summit and this one the, the theme or the headline for the speech is we hope BRICS will not divide like the United Nations, come interested, so let's check it out. I wouldn't like if we are going to have, and I don't know the conditions for membership for others, I wouldn't like to see we're going to have a BRICS, the original members to be like the United Nations Security Council, and the rest will be others, will be General Assembly members, no veto right. In that case, we are not adding anything. We are going to have a group of original members who will be the Security Council 5 with a veto rights, and we come in, if you come in as BRICS and others, are you going to be named one by one or just others? Mm -hmm. We don't have any veto power. <laughs> that was a funny question. So I'm, I'm noticing his, um, the way he's talking might be a little bit difficult to hear. So I'm just going to be summarizing bit by bit. So he's asking if it's going to be BRICS and others, because already BRICS means Brazil, Russia, India, India, China, and South Africa. So how would you integrate the other countries coming in? Yeah, I'll take it back a little bit. If you come in as... BRICS and others, are you going to be named one by one or just others who don't have any veto power or say? We must first report to you, maybe. Thank you, President. My next speaker will be, and it is an honor to call upon President Hage Gengop, the President of the Republic of Namibia. Thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency Cyril Ramaphosa, President of the Republic of South Africa and host of the 15th BRICS Summit, and other Excellencies who are members of BRICS, other heads of state and government, honorable ministers, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to express my gratitude and appreciation to President Cyril Ramaphosa for hosting this important BRICS Africa outreach and BRICS Plus dialogue. The attendance of so many African nations today under the BRICS Africa outreach initiative is testimony to the strong desire and commitment of your excellencies to the expansion of BRICS through greater African and South-South participation and cooperation in global economic and financial affairs. The historical dominance of the Bretton Woods financial institutions, whose modus operandi is built on low conditionalities and political prescriptions, which has at times bordered on disregard for national sovereignty, has increased the appetite among many nations who are counterweight, such as BRICS. Hence, BRICS offers that alternative option by assuring like-minded countries an opportunity to participate and do business in an international economic and financial system which is based on uni universally recognized international principles and values such as non-interference in domestic affairs, mutual respect, mm -hmm. and non-interference in domestic affairs. I think it's the second president to say that. The first person I heard was the Eritrean president. They keep emphasizing that. I wonder why. Some of you might know already, but it's a good point to raise in, in a summit like this. Them, which is based on uni universally recognized international principles and values such as non-interference in domestic affairs, mutual respect, and win-win cooperation. In Namibia, we too bold, we hold, we too hold dear these principles as a condition sine qua non to build a shared, peaceful, and prosperous global community 
in which all countries, big and small, interact as sovereigns on equal footing, without any country being left out or subjected to the forceful imposition of particular value system. <laughs> the forceful imposition of particular value system. Key words to emphasize. The African Union has themed this year the year of the of the acceleration of the African continental free trade area implementation. Namibia is at an advanced stage in the development of its clean hydrogen industry and the supply of critical raw materials, including lithium, which is needed for the green energy transition as part of our fight against climate change. Transition, we invite you to come and invest and assist us in the development of the green energy infrastructure to consolidate regional energy value chains and off-stage agreements. We are open for business. <laughs> in conclusion, I trust that this dialogue will elaborate on some of the cru crucial modalities of how an expanded bridge plus will function in the best interests of all its members. We hope that BRICS will not be divided like the United, United Nations. Nations, which has a security council for the few of the veto powers and a general assembly for the majority of member states who don't enjoy the same privilege of a veto. We believe that an important global grouping of nations such as BRICS, which is born from a collective desire of the countries from the South to make the international order more just and equitable and favorable to peace and development for all, will, if that we do that, will go down or break down the barriers of division, confrontation, and conflicts. I wouldn't like if we are going to have, and I don't know the conditions for membership uh, for others, I wouldn't like to see we're going to have a BRICS, the original members, to be like the United Nations Security Council, and the rest will be others, will be General Assembly members, no veto right. Mm. In that case, we are not adding anything. We are going to have a group of original members who will be the Security Council 5 with a veto rights. And we come in, if you come in as BRICS and others, are you going to be named one by one or just others who don't have any veto power or say? We must first report to you maybe, and then you approve and then we can then say we are members. That kind of a situation is not going to be good. So since we are starting a new organization of equals, mm -hmm. I'm not saying because Namibia is very small, but <laughs> I'm saying because Namibia fought for freedom against South Africa, not serial South Africa, the other one. And we won. So therefore, I want equality. And I would like to know what are the conditions under which we, the small countries, will be a member of BRICS. Reform BRICS. <laughs> of these very few remarks, I look forward to further engagement during this dialogue. And I thank you very much. <laughs> that was a good word. <laughs> thank you, President Kengo. <laughs> I'd like to hear a response to that. BRICS does believe in equality. And I can assure you, there won't be any UN Security Council <laughs> effect in BRICS, with some countries having a veto power. Mm -hmm. Our belief in equality and respect is what really defines what BRICS is all about. So be rest assured, your fears must be waylaid. So fear not, my dear president. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I know. Yeah, that was good. You see, 
all the speeches I've heard so far has been on three lines, mostly these three lines, which is to develop the countries, mutual respects, and also not interfering in personal nations and um, activities. Those three things, I feel like all the presidents we've heard so far have said those three things. So it matters. It means before they emphasize it so much in BRICS, somebody might have violated it or an organization. I'm not going to speculate and say which organization I think it might be. But before they come to BRICS to look for something better, it means they've been a part of other organizations that might have violated those three things. Well, that was a good speech. Um, he made very good points. Hopefully BRICS is not like the other organizations. Um, they treat everybody with mutual respect. And from the question he asked, I can make it very clear. He's saying, will Brazil, Russia, India, China, and, and South Africa, would they have more power than the other people coming in? That's what he was asking. Like BRICS and others. <laughs> well, I'm glad the South African president has reassured everybody because I'm also listening. So I'm part of it. Reassured all of us. That it's not going to be like that. Let me know what you think about that speech. It was a good one by the Namibian president. Feel free to share your thoughts on that one. I don't really know a lot about Namibia. Let me know if you want us to look into the country and bring some more videos from Namibia. But it's the end of this one. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace. I made this bed on my own. Bed on my own.